hello guys welcome to our youtube channel this will be an educational video in this video we will learn about samsara driver app by end of this video you will know how to log into samsara driver app how to add vehicle trailer and a shipment id and how to accept or decline unassigned drive time how to do a pre-trip inspection and a post-trip inspection on a samsara app how to transfer your logs to officer and how to do a border check. So firstly guys, we need to open our Samsung driver app. Just click on the application. Now we need to enter fleet ID, username and password. So you can get your username, password and fleet ID from your safety and compliance manager. So let's type in our yeah uh, fleet ID. So it is over here. Now I enter my username and now I need to enter the password and then sign in. So once it show you loading, that means you, your credentials are correct. So, so now we need to enter our vehicle number, trailer and shipment ID. So firstly, we enter vehicle number, select a vehicle. Here it show you like the list of vehicle that we have in our fleet. But let's suppose if I try to enter truck one zero five yeah and i can't see one zero five because our compliance or safety guide doesn't enter add a like 105 in the list so i can select only truck that is in the list so let's suppose we uh, select zero nine six let's suppose so it give us like a brief introduction like this is 2018 pre linux area so yeah it give us a brief idea of like truck so now we now we need yeah here we get like unclaimed drive time notification so it means there was an unclaimed segment that may belongs to me review and claim but zero yeah so it show me like somebody drive this truck without using eld so i just want to make sure it is not me so i need to select it select all and say not mine so just make sure if you drive it you, you confirm that it's your otherwise you would say it's not mine and confirm now we click done now we need to enter our trailer number add our trailer number let's suppose our trailer number is uh whatever trailer number like five three zero zero yeah here you see this is a new trailer nobody else use it so i need to click on add five three zero zero to trailer list now I need to enter our license plate number, let's suppose, and the license plate is X, 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 four X in a row, yeah. Then create and select, it's creating, now it's done, yeah. So now we need to enter our shipment ID, so try to put bill of lading number, so let me just put bill of lading number, so you can put a bill of lading number like 972, something like that, but make sure you get from the paperwork and enter, enter over here so yeah so we are seeing a notification like limited eld connection because the truck is sitting in the yard and i am making a video from the office so yeah that's why i am getting this notification that's fine for now yeah save now we enter our vehicle number trailer shipment id yeah that's great now click turn yeah at the very top you see your name then you see right now you are in off duty status then you see your vehicle number trailer number shipment id then hosd where routes and other things so first thing we need to go on duty if we like we are just starting our day so we need to go on duty add a remark uh, here you see a bunch of options but right now we are going to do a pre-trip inspection so click on pre-trip inspection uh, it automatically pop up the location so you don't need to fill it out so just click save uh, again the same notification just ignore it so right now we are in on duty status so right now we need to do a dvir for the truck and for the trailer so we we so let's go with the dvir so click on dvir so here i see like somebody else did a like pre-trip inspection for the 096 today and so if i wanna do a dvir right now so i need to click on create dvir 
select uh, firstly go with the truck yeah select truck and show you your vehicle number win number now you need to because the truck is sitting in the yard so i need to enter the location once uh, like manually so let's put on location orange one Ontario. yeah then license plate automator enter a pre-trip inspection because right now we are doing a pre-trip if you guys are doing a post trip make sure you enter uh, click on post trip and yeah most important thing if you see any defect in the truck so make sure you mention it in the dvi report so yeah so if you, you see like glasses are broke like you have a windshield crack i suppose we have a windshield crack uh, yeah just put it over there uh, here you see a bunch of options so just select what type of defect you find in the truck okay and then hit turn here you see like glasses and mirror like the windshield have a, has a crack like so right now i'm just ignoring it like because i don't see the truck right now so now choose safety status does it the truck safe to drive or not so click on safe to drive hit next now it say safe safe dvir for 096 yeah so so have a look on schedule one that is in your truck so go through like minor and major defect certify and submit it's uploading over there yeah right now you see it's already uploaded over there yeah now we need to create the same for the trailer I mean, like click trailer the same thing we have to enter a location for this one say like oh orange row Ontario so yeah we do not need to enter like automotive for the trailer we are doing pre trip click on the pre trip let's pause like go on click on add defect uh, here I see like number of defects which I can put but right now I did not find any defect on the trailer so I'm just going through it now the tra trailer is safe to drive I click on safe to drive and hit next then I click just I declare that everything is fine with the tra trailer and truck so certify and submit yeah same thing happened over here yeah it's uploaded over there so now we go back so now we now we completed our dvir so next thing so if a officer or dod guy told you to send me your log so how we do it so firstly go over hos and just scroll some down and here you see roadside click on roadside then you click continue without log and here you see your information hit a transfer which is at the right top corner transfer anyways e email to Canadian government yeah so just e write down their email and the comment if they give you anything to mention it over there in the comments section yeah and then hit transfer yeah. that's how you do it the transfer thing so one important thing is how to review and claim drive time so it's still showing me that i have a like unclaimed drive time so first thing we need to click over here select all that this is not mine confirm done yeah yeah so that's it so one main thing if you are like on a canadian border you want to cross to the u.s so you want to check how many hours you will get in the us so just click over here at us go to the settings and then border check so you want to check for the us hours so click over here united state save and go back to at us now you see how many hours you will you will get if you cross the border right now to the us side so yeah so you can so you click over here it shows like border check is on previewing hos logs under different region selecting 
settings sorry now you go back to setting border check and turn it off so you doesn't get confused okay yeah now you would have get your Canadian hours back yeah that's thank you for watching the video hope it helps